Good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon time to check out what's happening in the tropics. And we do have some action, not necessarily anything heading towards southeast Texas, but there are a couple of systems we are monitoring and we actually have a hurricane out there, although right now it does not appear as though it will have any major impact on any land areas. But let's start off by checking out the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea, and things are pretty quiet. A few showers and storms in portions of the Caribbean, but nothing that is being monitored for possible tropical cyclone development. So let's head over to the eastern Pacific, and this is where we have our newly formed hurricane. This is Hurricane Adrian. This is a couple hundred miles west of Mexico and it is moving off to the west, but it is now up to around 80 miles per hour. So a pretty impressive looking hurricane there. But the good news is that it is moving away from Mexico. It's moving away from the United States. And so I don't expect it to be much of a problem to anyone. There's also another disturbance east of Hurricane Adrian in the eastern Pacific that we are monitoring. This is close to Central America and Mexico. It has a high shot for development over the next few days as well. A 70% chance over the next 48 hours and a 90% shot to become a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the next seven days. So that's what's happening in the eastern Pacific, but those systems are not expected to impact the U.S. Let's talk about, though, the track of Adrian. And this is why it's not going to impact the U.S. because it's moving west at six miles per hour away from Mexico, away from the U.S., 80 mile per hour winds and that pressure now down to 986 millibars. So it's going to hold its own. It's going to remain fairly strong hurricane status through Friday afternoon. Then it's going to run into a more unfavorable environment, some shear that's going to kind of try to rip it apart and weaken it. So I think by Saturday, we're talking about a hurricane weakening to a tropical storm and then back to a tropical depression likely by Monday. So overall, Adrian will be monitored closely, but I don't think it's going to have any major impacts. Let's switch over to the Atlantic and we do have a disturbance here that we are monitoring. This one is a couple hundred miles south southeast of Bermuda. It's northeast of Puerto Rico. You can see San Juan there. We do have a slim shot that this could get its act together as it slowly pushes north at five to 10 miles per hour and switch to a depression or strength into a tropical storm. But right now it is fairly disorganized and fairly elongated. So there's no well-defined center of circulation with this. So it is just a disturbance at this point. But if we start to see that area of low pressure developing, then it could possibly become a tropical depression or tropical storm dawn. That would be the next name on the list. But here it is moving north. There's that low chance for development, 10% over the next two days and only a 20% very low shot over the next seven days. We've got plenty of warm water out there. Those sea surface temperatures in the 80s, well into the 80s for the Gulf, for the Caribbean Sea, and for much of the Atlantic. So any of these systems that can manage to get going will have plenty of warm water to work with out there that would help them rapidly develop. As I mentioned, the next name on the list for the Atlantic Basin would be Dawn, and we could have Dawn in a few days, a low chance of development for that system I just mentioned, but there is a shot. Then we would go down to Emily, Franklin, and then Gert. Then if we made it to Harold, that would be the first use of that name, of course. Harold replaces Harvey. Harvey was retired because it produced catastrophic damage. Some of that right over us, 50 inches of rain for parts of the area. So of course that name was retired and hopefully we will have nothing like that anytime soon. We are monitoring for additional development out there in the tropics. Of course, we're still close to the beginning of hurricane season. We've almost gotten through the first month, but we've still got July, which typically we don't have a whole lot of action. But then as we get into August and September, we really start to see the threat for those tropical systems increasing. And that's usually when we see the most tropical storms and hurricanes, especially during September, that peak being right around September 10th. So hurricane season runs all the way through the end of November, of course, and we will keep monitoring things and let you know if anything is headed our way. Right now, that big heat dome or area of high pressure continues to keep any threat for tropical action away from Southeast Texas. But now is the time to think about what you can do to make sure you are prepared if a hurricane or a tropical storm came our way and you definitely need to review that insurance coverage, do an insurance checkup, 
talk with your agent, get your plan out, look at the details and make sure you have all of the coverage that you desire and that you think you need. Now is the perfect time to do that before things get crazy and we have something headed our way from the tropics. Of course, another great thing to do would be to download our Fox 26 weather app. You can get all of the tropical weather updates that you desire, forecast cones, our follow me feature, and of course, an update on what's happening locally. And of course, that is the big heat wave. So you can find it all on our Fox 26 weather app. If you head to the App Store, search for Fox 26, and you get that downloaded on your phone. Well, that's what's cooking in the tropics. I'll have another update for you tomorrow afternoon. But for now, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Have a great rest of the day.